Let's dig a little deeper into what measures of dispersion tell us. So I'm looking at exercises 16 through 19 on page 84 of lesson 17. And these are the number of receptions for the top 25 receivers in the NFC during the 2002 regular season. So I listed all these numbers. I pasted them into Desmos here. I asked it for a dot plot. So here's what a dot plot look lo looks like. So for every one of those data points, it is plotted along this graph. And this tells me that I have four receptions that were 61 yards. I have one that was 100, one that was 143. Okay, so the problem wants us to make this line plot and then find the mean of the data. Well, again, I'm going to let uh, Desmos do this for me. It tells me the mean is 80.67. Once we find the mean, we also want to find the standard deviation, which Desmos tells us is 19.4. And I want to make a line on this dot plot for the mean. And then I also want to make a line uh, one standard deviation away on both sides. So give me a sec here. So I've marked our graph. So here's the mean, more or less, and x with a bar over it is often the symbol for mean. Here's one standard deviation below. So the sigma is the symbol for standard deviation. So these are all the points that fall one standard deviation below. Here's one standard deviation above. And I'm just taking the mean, 80.6, and adding 18.9 to get to here more or less. Um, our uh, text asked us how, what percentage of the data is within one standard deviation. So if we look at this, here's one standard deviation, all this. Okay, so the only points that fall outside are these four and these three. So we have 25 points total, we subtract those seven, and we're going to get 18 out of 25, which is 72%. We can also look, we can take this a little farther. So here's two standard deviations above, and here's three standard deviations above. We have one receiver that is more than three standard deviations above the average, and we're going to talk about that in our next lesson.